Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now we are going to solve an awesome lead code problem called hand of straights. Now we can see that this one is a medium problem and also a very well like problem on lead code. Let's understand the problem statement. We have a girl named Alice who has some number of cards and she wants to rearrange these cards into a groups such that each group of the size group size consists of group size consecutive cards. So let's try to understand what this means. Basically, we are given an integer array called hand that defines bunch of different values inside a deck of cards. And at any given integer i is the value return uh, for that particular hand. Now we are also given another variable called group size. Now we need to check that whether we can divide all of these hands in a group in group sizes like groups of the, these group sizes such that that all of the rearrange groups contains consecutive cards and we can rearrange all the groups so let's try to understand this with an example and then it would make much more sense let's say that we are currently given the hand or deck of hands like this and we are given the group size to be three so let's see that can we create the different uh, si three size groups so first group we can create is going to be cards one two three now notice that there is a condition when we when we are trying to create the groups that every single card inside the group has to be consecutive so we can create this one group second group we can create is using these three characters and that is two three and four and third group we can create is using six seven and eight so now notice that in this case we use all of the cards that were currently given to us and we divided them into the size of three and each group contains the cards that were coming in consecutively so in this case we can say that we can create the hand of straights using this so we will return true in this case let's take one more example suppose the given hand is values one two three four and five and in this case we are given the group size to be four so in this case we can create a group of size 4 with these 4 characters or with these 4 characters both of which are going to have consecutive values so values would be 1 2 3 and 4 the thing is we would still have one value one more value left that is going to be left out that we cannot use so in this case we can return false because we are not able to create or use every single card inside our hands array let's take just one more example let's say that currently the values given are 1 2 3 and uh, 5 6 and 8 and in this case the group where that we are trying to create is of size 3 so we can see that we can create a group 1 2 3 like this no issues with this we can also create a group of three cards using 5 6 and 8 but thing is this is not going to be a correct group because we need to create a group that only contains consecutive elements and 5 6 and 8 are not consecutive cards if this were to be 5 6 and 7 then it would have worked so because of that for this particular example we will have to return false so that's it this completes my explanation on what the problem statement is actually asking us to solve let's see that what is going to be the optimal approach to solve this problem well the idea is quite straightforward what i'm suggesting is that we are given currently the hands and we are also given uh, group sizes now we know that for this particular given group sizes we will have to create groups the values inside the group has to be consecutive so first thing that comes to our mind is that if we are dealing, dealing with consecutive or subsequent values why don't we just simply sort the given input of hands and then try to start creating groups according to that do you think that approach would work let's try to see that approach in uh, action let's say that this is the current hand that we are given now we are trying to use our first approach where we are going to sort every single value inside our hand array and try to create groups of size 3 so the sorted hand is going to look something like this now notice in this problem if we try to create groups of 3 we would not be able to make consecutive groups we would run into this issue if we create a group of 3 we would have a group that looks like 1 2 and 2 and based on this we can just say that this is a false group and we cannot make sense of it uh, but this would not be the correct correct assumption correct assumption would be that if we identify two values that are same in frequency then we only need to consider the first value for the partition of first group so the idea in this case would be that we would create a group that is going to be one two then we found a repeated character so we would ignore this one and add value number three into a group after creating this group we will check that whether there has been any values that are currently left so yes this two has been left 
so let's use the same operation so now we are going to create one more group using this two now notice that we have already used this three in the first group so we are going to be eliminating that and then we can have we will have values three and four in this case so we can also repeat the same operation and then uh, after all the values that we have currently used we will keep on trying to make partition and trying to check that whether they follow the property of them being consecutive or not so in this case based on this approach we can actually find the solution which means number one there are few assumptions we can make based on this number one sorting is going to be greatly helpful second thing is we come into the issue of duplicated numbers so we will need to know that what is the frequency of every single character and if we can combine these two values store that information that have the sorted values of all the unique values that are present and have the frequency that that how many times they are currently present it would be easy for us to make these groups and if we are able to make su subsequent groups that follow the all the property and we are able to use every single value inside the hand we can return true or we can return false so using this what i'm suggesting is that we actually use something smartly we use a, a hash map and we use a sorting approach now the thing is why are we why am i suggesting to use the hash map because we are dealing with uh, unique entries and for each of the unique entry we have different frequency and this is what i'm suggesting that we store as part of the hash map where as a key we are going to store that what is the current value of the hand and as its subsequent value we are going to store that how many times that hand has been repeated in any particular iteration next after storing this information we will have to sort all of these given keys because we are trying to generate consecutive values one by one so logically why don't we just combine hash map and sorting at the same time where we can simply use a tree map that is going to have best of both worlds that can that can access and fetch all the elements in big o of one time and it can insert all the elements in big o of log n time for the frequency and stuff like that because uh, based on the key value so this is going to be an efficient approach so now what i'm suggesting is that we are currently given our hand that we are we are going to be dealing with for this particular hand what we are going to do is we are going to create a tree map this tree map is going to contain the unique value plus their frequencies and for these two using these two values we will start creating groups of bunch of different numbers and we will need to make sure that the starting if the starting value of group is let's say 5 and the group has to be of size 3 then next value has to be 6 and next value has to be 7 if we can find 6 over here that's great if we cannot find 6 at any given moment we can directly return false saying that this group is not being able to make so let's try to see my solution in action so now based on the hand we have our tree map ready notice in the tree map we have every single key or the hand value is currently sorted and we also have the frequency that how many times this is present now we need to create the group size 3 for every single value uh, so the idea would be that for very first group we are going to take the smallest value out and we are going to reduce its frequency and this is going to give us the starting point for that particular group so starting point is going to be 1 which means this has to be a group of size 3 so next subsequent element that should be in the group has to be value number 2 but thing is we are not sure if 2 is present or not and lucky for us we can check that immediately that whether 2 is present or not by the way when we took this one out we would have reduced its frequency so we can reduce the frequency to zero the moment frequency becomes zero it would make sense to elim completely eliminate that element rather than just storing it so we can eliminate three now we are looking for two we found two and which means we can also reduce the frequency of two so now the frequency is going to be one next thing should be three so we are trying to find a three and we also found a three over here we are also going to reduce its frequency from one uh, uh, two to one so now this is also going to be one and we created our first group now for the second group once again we will check inside our hash map or tree map 
that what is the smallest element and this is going to be the very first value inside our tree mac that is starting point is value number two so now we are going to use value number two over here which means its frequency is going to become zero if the frequency becomes zero we can mark it as zero and then uh, next element should be three so we will check that whether three is pres present yes three is present so we are also going to mark its frequency to zero once this becomes zero we can also eliminate this value and we can also uh, now we are looking for next element to be four four is also present and we can mark four as uh, counted so we can remove that element and close this group now after closing this group we have basically deleted all the elements before that now once again we will have to create a new group then that group starting point has to be six so we'll going going to mark six over here and then which means now we are looking for seven and eight and lucky for us seven and eight are also present so we can just mark these as visited and then in the end notice that now we currently don't have any value inside our tree map and because we did not find any play at any place uh, where we could not find an element so in this case we can return true now let's say that in the same example instead of this being 7 let's say that this value would have been 9 so in this case what would have happened that we would have values such as 6 and the frequency of the value is going to be that 6 is present one time uh, 8 is present one time and 9 is going to be present one time over here we find that the starting point has to be 6 now for this sub this group to exist we will have to find value number 7 but 7 would not have been present over here the moment we identify such thing like this we could have written false immediately so this is just to, for you to understand that under which scenario we would return false and basically this is the whole solution now you can see how beautiful we are doing things uh, if we calculate time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be big of n log n why n log n because it takes us log n time to add all the entries inside our uh, tree map in terms of space complexity because we are using an additional tree map it is going to be big of n but we can manage that now on top of it we can also do one more optimization that if let's say the given number of hands is currently 10 and if the given group is equal to 3 so if the total cards are 10 do we even need to check that can we make all the groups of size 3 no why because 3 we can only create like the group for 9 cards and there is still going to be one more left out card so initially we can always check that whatever the size of the given currently h is if that is going to be divisible by uh, the given group size or not and this value has the remainder has to be zero if that is the case then only we will move forward so this would be a way for us to eliminate few like bad and edge cases uh, and now let's see the coding approach now for the coding solution first thing we are going to check is to see that whether the given length of all the hands so all the cards that we currently have if that is divisible by group of zero if that is not the case then we can directly return false because for sure we would not be able to make the group of that particular group sizes if this is not divisible by zero if that is not the case we are going to initialize a tree map uh, where we are using hash map in combination with tree map because we want to access the keys in a particular order and now we are going to be counting every single card so we are going to iterate over each of the card that is currently present inside our hand array and we are going to be adding that to our tree map where we are going to define that if that card is present as the key then we simply update its frequency if that is not the case we create a new entry then we attempt to form groups where we are first of all in the outer loop checking that while the we still have present cards inside our key tree map we are going to do the following where first we are going to initialize the first key or the first starting point of the first group with the smallest key and notice that because we are using tree map we can actually just keep on accessing the keys directly because they would be stored in a sorted manner then we are going to iterate over uh, the for loop uh, focusing on each particular group sizes where we are checking that what is the current card that is going to be first plus i then we are going to check if it, that if the, we have that current card inside our tree map or not if we do not have that value inside the tree map we can simply return false immediately because we cannot make consecutive groups if that is not the case we are simply going to add that value then we are going to reduce the value 
or the decrease um, decrease the count because we are removing the card and then we are checking that if the given count is equal to one then we can simply remove that card completely from our tree map if that is not the case we simply reduce its frequency and repeat the same operation if we do get out of this loop which means we are able to get out of every single uh, card and use every single card to create the appropriate group sizes and which means we need to return true in the end so this is the whole solution let's try to run our approach seems like our solution works beautifully let's submit this code and our code beats good chunk of uh, solutions it is not the best and there are still improvements can make can be made but given the time frame this is a good approach and uh, the solution is present inside our github repository so feel free to go ahead and check it out from there thank you